Hello everyone and welcome back to Celtic Calls Gaming, it's myself, Dick, and today we're playing Hitman. I thought today I would show you a wee trick as somebody did ask me how it was done, and uh, it's kind of difficult to explain, so I'm going to show you how to use one target to kill the other on the Showstopper Paris mission. So, here we go. As you can see, I'm using the ICA silver bottle, the tuxedo, the coin, and fiber. Just very basic stuff. I'm not going to use anything special. Everyone can do a loadout similar to this, so I might change my tux. Just some. Ah, let's go with the nipples because you know. There we go. Super. Uh, so that's my bits and pieces, let's go. As looking forward to the uh, the new Hitman game coming out. And I think Welcome it's to Paris, new November. Uh, the show for what is just it about to start. Looks, uh, this is the red fun. carpet event of the season, oh, right, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. Right, here we go. You will find Victor oh, Novikov yeah, basking yeah, yeah. in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Right. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Make it big, bold, and impossible to ignore. In the newly appointed head of the next show, there's no exception. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. That is Victor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. Now, if we come down here, this is the staff area. Now, this, this step is, I admit, entirely optional. Um, this is 100% this is personal preference. But uh, if we go down into this room, I believe. Let's maybe go across. Keep it across here. We can grab this disguise, which is the palace stuff. Go ahead and watch out, because at least two people in that room will um, see through your disguise. Probably because you just low jacked one of the fucking one of those spare uniforms and slept it on. Uh, now, if we take a right here, this is the security room. I don't think we're allowed in here if I'm just like right through because I don't think they walk them long way. Um, da -da -da -da. Here is the master key. This is quite important for what we do. Um, so, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to neutralize the security room. Uh, in fact, not even not even the full security room. I'm just here to neutralise the um, the security feed, the security cameras, because hey waiter, it's a good thing to do. Now this guy here's a pain in the ass because he patrols between the um, the kitchen here, little staff kitchen, and the security room. And if you hit if you trip this wire here while he's wandering around, he'll be the one who fixes it. Which means that you can't do the um, the necessaries. Of course, if you're not bothered about your score, you can walk in and shoot everyone in the back pretty quickly and pretty easily, and nobody will really kick up a fuss about that. And it's 
so it's, it's definitely, it's, it's, it depends on how, how sneaky you want to be. I'm trying to be, oh, so sneaky. Oh, so sneaky. But, um, it's going to be slightly different. What is taking that guy so long? See what I mean about him being an absolute pain in the arse though? If I was uh, doing something important, I would kick you right in the plums. Right, okay. So, we do this, and as soon as we do that, we've got to dive out of the way because this area is not suspicious. So, round heel is just fine. Now we go through the kitchen, take a right at the kitchen, go up the service the uh, service stairs. Shower. Shower stairs. What do we put Sean Connery there? Yes, um Operation Fuck up the Parisian shuttle. Anyway, uh, upstairs again. <laughs> I think. And you'll get this wee chap in there. You just put this guy in the sleeping hole. Squeeze until he starts wiggling and he's like, his uniform. Now, the first absolute vital piece of the Get, uh, get upstairs. Now there is a variety of ways to do this. Um, you can go for Helmut Kruger or the uh, the Sheik, who will both give you unrestricted access to the Yago option upstairs. However, both of them have a cutscene. Well, not cutscene. Um, To go ahead and like you want Stay to in the stage area, area please. Um, at least for this to make it to work as smoothly as possible. We're not worried about it being smooth, that's not an issue. Stage area, looks safe. But what you can do is um Sorry, this is not the backstage. Stage crew no access, okay? What you can do is you can go up here. This is the Sheik's quarters. And if you notice over there, there's a guy um, with a bodyguard. So for just just, just save a bit of time. Oh, I'm gonna drop that guy out of the one. Grab his gun. I'm gonna pull him off the back. Not all the sheik is in here. I'm kind of concerned that there's, that there's no sheik. Now we're looking soft. Now, if you were doing this with an assassin rank, I'm sure you could, you know, clobber that guy from across the room with like, a phone or something. Or you could wait until he turns his back and go into a little chokehold again, but you know. We're busy people, time is busy. Alright, so now that this guy's done. Now keep in mind that this is not a, a unrestricted access uniform. You can go into every area and most NPCs are normal. Out, However, the uh, bodyguards have quite a lot of characters who can recognise you through these guys. So just keep an eye on your radar. Uh, what I'm going to go back through the... This all goes about Pete Dong. Anyway, up the stairs. Now there's a slight issue. 
and that both of the guards, both there's two sets of stairwells, both stairwells can recognise a fake guard. So both these guys will be able to recognise, you know, this isn't, this is not kosher. However, there is a cheeky way around that. What you want to do is you want to get just inside the line of sight. Uh, excuse forget. me, sir. You can't leave that line around. What? How did that get? Let's get a beer. Ta da! What's her story? Uh, you know, actually, I read this uh, this book about the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. Going this and going that way. Now this is important. You have to go through the Iago um, auction to right over here. And when you're here, you take your wee doodad that you lifted and you trigger it. Cool. And now we now, now we simply. Uh, over there watching the stills, unless he's not brought the gun back yet. If he hasn't, we're gonna watch. He's brought the gun back, we haven't gonna watch. I guess we can sneak through this area. Which is a slightly less, a slightly more daunting prospect, sorry. Actually, no, we're not gonna do What we can do. I suppose you could actually use this to get in in the first place without using the little gun trick. Fingertip strength, a vital element of being in the system. Gotta be able to finger play those ledges, you Which is also coincidentally where it's here. such a successful level. Oh, yeah, yeah. All that finger strength. Right, the last issue that we've got is that the patrolling guards, both the two, two man patrol, uh, of which I believe there are two. And the static guard by the helicopter. Um, they know who we are. Now, we can, of course, just do other exits. There's a little boat down there. We can walk out the front door or we can escape in the basement from the catacombs. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to follow these guys around. Easy peasy. Also, watch out for the garden guys. They know the real guard. And there we go guys, that is how you kill Victor and Dali, or Dali. Don't need to 
see this. This is. I'll have to admit, I do like the villain for the new Hitman. I'm interested in seeing more of them. Plus four apartments. There we go. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Dave from Celtic Cost Gaming. We're going to be doing more of this. There's another swap video coming on. We're also going to be doing a bit of gameplay on Absolver, which will be fun. Uh, we're just grinding up all different styles because obviously the YC has green styles and dodge one guy's punches for 20 minutes to learn it. Um, what else have we got? I've also got a Karate Master 2 video coming which is a very special one that's going to be quite good. It's going to be a lot of fun to play through and probably going to get my legs kicked out from under me about 20 times but hey, that's what it's all about. Anyway, thank you very much guys and I'll catch you next time.